Hey guys, and welcome to our review for Wonder Strucks, directed by Todd Haynes, starring Oakes Feigley, Millicent Simmons, Julianne Moore, Michelle Williams, among others. He's My name is Scott Shrek. Ellis. I'm joined here by Tim McGavick. I'm worried. He's been Wonder Struck. Oh, he held it as long oh, as he could. I've tried so hard. You're like tearing up. Oh my god, that was difficult. Tyler Switalski is here. Hey guys, how's it going? And oh, Adam Franey. I am also here, struck with wonder. The follow-up to last year's? Is it last year? Carol? Yep. Mm-hmm. Um, and what, what else Two years ago. Sure. He did One other... Safe with Julian Moore as well. <laughs> I'm not um, there. I'm, I'm, I'm not there. Here. I'm not here. I'm still here. I'm still here. He, br- he broke out, here. I'd say, with Carol. Oh, yeah. Yes. Uh, well, Tim, can you give us a little well. synopsis of Wonderstruck yeah. for the viewers who might not know what happens? Because I didn't know. <laughs> a, a young boy, a young boy in 1977, and a young girl in 1927 share a mysterious connection <laughs> as they both make their way through New York City. Mysterious connection. Yes, that's what I would say after seeing it. Ty, let's start with you. <laughs> okay. I know you got the full experience. <laughs> uh, watch your... all two hours. You watch two hours all... of it. Yeah. Okay, let me set this up for you. Before the movie. Scott and I played laser tag yes, for about did. 90 minutes. It's some pretty hardcore laser tag. Yeah, yeah. We were tagging Getting really sweaty. hard. Scott got first. Nice. Yeah. Obviously. I walked away with third. Nice. Yeah, it was pretty good. Out of how many people? Three? Uh, first time was almost, well, first time was almost, what, 15 people maybe? Second second one was like maybe 10. You didn't get third the first time. For first time, I... <laughs> you got third the second time. Yeah, I got first second, both times. Yeah. Oh, shit. Oh, shit. Really? You're yeah. a sniper. I just said you were first. You know, were you up on like the top floor just like... I gave you your credit. Sniping. I don't know why you got to bring up my first game. All right? It wasn't... You know what? Okay. You gun butt? Anyways. You got sweaty. You got tired. You I got was exhausted. exhausted. You got beat. So, Scott got sweaty. beat. Now we're going to... Sweaty, sweaty. Sweaty, sweaty. Sweaty, sweaty. There's one sweaty, sweaty. So... Sweaty, sweaty. Sweaty, sweaty. So we're like, okay, Don't now we're going to go see the movie. So we go see the movie. About half hour into it. Less than. 20 Don't minutes cold. into it. I'm, I... <laughs> the Adam Special. The head rock. The Adam Special. Ouch. I got this. Boom. Very asleep. Uh, fell asleep for, I don't know, 15, 20 minutes maybe. Woke up. I'm like, ha! Power nap. I'm good. Look at Scott. Second wind. 15 minutes. Less than. 10 minutes. Asleep again. Yeah, you literally said second win. I'm like, oh yeah, you got your second win. <laughs> Ten minutes later, ten minutes later, out cold. God, I actually, I got, I, I, I got you like steered into it. I was like, second win. I, I was leaning forward in the chair with my foot on the rail, like, all right, <laughs> me too. Let's watch this. the movie. I got this. I'm like, I'm good. I can relax now. Boom. One, two, three. Asleep. <laughs> There's one moment where I looked over at you and you looked at me and you're like, right, you like you were just waking up, <laughs> <laughs> and and you looked at me and you're just like. Fuck it. And he just, and he just did this. I said fuck it. I remember it. I remember saying fuck you it. You really did this. You're like, you know what? Fuck it. <laughs> I put the other, I put the oh other, there's an, empty, there's an empty chair beside us. I put the armrest up. And I was like, fuck it. I'm putting this up just in case. And I went, struck. I went back to sleep. You were wonderstruck. Saw to- in total probably about 35% of the movie. <laughs> so you loved it. Oh, oh, so what did you think of, what you did you see? What did you think? I mean, it was jigsaw. quite action packed. It, it was really exciting, really kept yeah. your attention. I remember, I'll tell you what I remember. Gripping. I remember Gripping. jumping in and out because the. Uh, <laughs> is this a spoiler? Uh-oh. Like, what's, what's, what's like the actual, like the, like the main part of the movie? Can we say this is a spoiler? No one cares. Go really? Okay. They're, no they're, one's seen it. Deaf. <laughs> Kid's deaf. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Flashes back between this kid being deaf and this other kid that's in black and white, them being deaf as well. And a lot of deafness. A lot of deafness. Something so I think that might have been what did it for me. It's just silence. Yeah, very quiet. Most yeah. Deaf. Very <laughs> the most deaf. Most um deaf. yeah. Um so I remember that them like jumping back and forth between that. But I think <laughs> the, I <laughs> I remember kids? seeing this kid. What else? I remember seeing this kid and thinking like, ooh. There's a connection between these two people. And then I fell asleep. And then I woke up. I'm like, I wonder if it's like, I wonder if they're like family somehow. And then I fell asleep again. And so that's really all I really remember from the movie. Um, what are you hitting it with? <laughs> <laughs> really? I kind of have to get my rating. Can you tell them what Because I can't so? say more than we that. can fill you in. I think I woke up for the end. I think we're like, this, or he's Good. talking. Like I this. remember looking over at you. I'm like, this is the climax. This is the most important scene. And looking over at you and you're like, 
He's dead asleep. <laughs> I, I remember. This is very important. This is very important moments that are happening I right think, now. I think I was awake. It. I think I was awake for the climax. I think I was. And but no, you I missed it. <laughs> sure. You missed it, dude. <laughs> oh, and spoilers, I'll bring up what, the cli- what I thought the climax was. All right, I'll hopefully, tell you what the real climax was. was. Scott it. was awake, so I think he would know if you were awake or not. I don't know. I'm pretty sure I saw the climax. Right. Days of Future Past style. Scott I it. think. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah. Adam, let's go over to you. Yeah, because someone else right. way yeah. in. Someone else actually, <clears throat> did you fall asleep? Nope. I okay. stayed awake for the entire thing. Okay. What are your thoughts on Wonderstruck? Sucker. It's shit. <laughs> okay, so I didn't, <laughs> I didn't miss much. Okay. I do not like it. Don't understand the good reviews. Um, just thought it was shit. Wow. Acting's do you, do you care to elaborate? <clears throat> yes. Uh, very boring, dull film. Nothing going on. I thought the acting was bad from everyone, except Julianne Moore. I thought she was fine. Oh, I forgot she was in this. Getting a lot of Oscar buzz, Best Supporting Actress. Don't understand it. I wouldn't go that far. IndieWire has her as a front runner for Best Supporting Actress. Dumb. Retarded, yeah. It was uh, getting a lot of buzz when it came out, I think it was Sundance or somewhere. Really early in the <coughs> year, it was getting a lot of buzz. Like, Winterstruck! This was as of like November 17th, I think. I remember it burned in here because I'm like, what? Uh, yeah, I just like was waiting for so- for like a gut punch or something something to happen. Wait, is it Jul- Julia Roberts or Julianne Moore is in this? Julianne Moore. Thank you. Anyways, uh, I was waiting for a gut punch to happen. I was asleep or something. The twist was predictable. Uh, okay, good. A lot of times I love a movie and I'm like, why is it like it doesn't feel like a five though? Like what is it that I that I didn't love? This is like it doesn't feel like a zero, but I don't know why. What I, you did like? I don't know what I did like. <laughs> I like the seventies New York setting. That was very well that done. That was kind of, I think yeah. they did that very well from what I saw. I uh, <laughs> I also loved the the. Uh, not spoiler, I guess the miniatures, like the stop motion miniature stuff. Well, the, is that is, yes. is that spoiler? No, it's not spoiler. <laughs> I love that. Not knowing the context, not spoiler. Uh, yeah, didn't like anything else about it. I like I like the cuts. I like in. I like the, uh, the sort of uh, juxtaposition of the the twenties and the seventies and how the scenes mirrored each other, and it sort of the storylines were sort of aligned. Yeah, I see, like, you know, the in attempt. Way, right? Yeah. Um, it was very boring to me. I thought the uh, the silent movie aspect of it was done pretty well for a silent film. I like that aspect. Okay, yeah. I'll give you that, actually. That's true. That's true. Um, You're bumping and, it up from a zero. And just sort of... I, bec- and I think that's what... One of the... Yeah, one of the, one of the good things I like, especially in focusing on the silent film part, the way it sort of reveals happen in that... Yeah. In that way, like you find out about her brother and yeah. certain things, and oh, that's her mother, mm-hmm. and certain things that you know might have been more obvious if it was done with vocally, but yeah. because yeah. it's silent, there's certain reveals that happen that that's are true. it's just done really well if it's done in silent. Yes, right. I did. I do. To be fair, I do remember thinking that like I've never watched a silent film. I don't think, and just seeing right. You've seen the artist, I guess. Yeah, mm. right. the disaster artist. I'm seeing it this week. Right, same, movie. Uh, same movie um yeah i agree that that was that was interesting to be like how they can convey like what's going on without words was cool yeah and i love the miniatures like you said that was just that the, was sweet. That the was figures the and amazing part. seeing that giant <clears throat> panorama in new york sick yeah like i'm assuming that's real I'm assuming it's real. Five, like because that that's amazing sick? that was crazy craziness um the movie's not great though Thank God, I agree. Thank I'm, I'm kind of playing devil's advocate a little bit. Thank you. 71 on Metacritic. Good qu- reviews. Quite dull. <laughs> like quite dull. I love that. The second, the second, it sort of cuts back and forth. I'm like, okay, this is 27. I don't want to get into spoilers, but like, I could see, I could make out what was going to happen here, like what the connection was going to be between them, pretty quickly, <laughs> and I was expecting more. Era, but there wasn't like, oh it's too obvious there's going to be something more and i think you hit the nail on the head i was expecting i was ex- expecting some emotional something yeah there was something that was going to be like 
like kind of kind of like a Manchester by the Sea situation where like yeah. you, you don't know what really is the big crux of the issue here but when it's revealed you're like oh fuck that's devastating I was expecting that but there was nothing <laughs> it was just very cut and dry basic basic twist that I was I don't know I was, I was expecting a lot more it disappointed me mm. but, thank you I don't think the performances were bad per se. I thought the child acting was not good. It wasn't great. Like Jamie was bad. Everything else was fine. And like Michelle know. Williams, you just pop in. Like, what the she fuck? didn't have much to do. She had one scene. Like, she, she, like I'm not mad at her. <clears throat> I'm not mad at her. I'm just like, I don't know. It's just like Danny. This there should have been more yeah like there wasn't there story. wasn't really any as much involving the father as they sort of made it out to be i remember that <laughs> very convincing tim what are your thoughts there you go folks there you have it no i, I remember who he was time stamp this um yeah, one struck could have used a hefty dose of wonder <laughs> we'll say wow um was... scott you're right it's dull Incredibly dull. Uh, wanted to fall asleep, <laughs> could yeah. not. Resisted the urge. Same. Yeah, like suckers. You know how Tyler, you don't like slice of life movies because yes. like there's no point. Yeah, there's no point to this movie. I literally was thinking the entire time, okay, this is Sweetie's nightmare. There's there's no point to this movie. A true pointless movie. Yeah, it just which I never. I, I was trying to figure it out. There's like, no point. I was like, okay, I know the twist. <laughs> what's the what's the goal what's here? The what's point? the point? <laughs> Yeah. Right. There's no point to it at all. There's zero and, point. Like, I love like Slacker. Right. No right. point to that movie. Uh, well, but, like, what's the what are they what, what is he getting at here? What's the <laughs> what's the overarching sort of theme here? Yeah, there's not one. And yeah, it's sort of it's supposed to be about that sense of discovery and wonder, and, but there's not no, really. No, not really. But not really. No like, wonder. There was nothing no wonder. wondrous about this. It. Needed a like magical <laughs> side to it. A side because. Quest? We can get to it in spoilers. The trailer made it seem like the boy and girl were almost like aware yes. of like the two stories were happening. Some temporal. Right. Yeah, some sort of temporal they, crossover. Yes. Nothing. Right. Until it gets like revealed. It just literally cuts back and forth between like a black and white movie and a color movie. And you're following like these two completely separate stories that happen to take place in New York. I'm like. And I just hate it. That exposition at the end, they're reading off a sheet of paper. Yeah, literally. I'm like, ah, no! Oh, you want to know what the whole story was? You got that, right? Did you see that? Here's a letter. I I'm not going to lie to you. I almost nodded off twice while we're, while we're talking about this. <clears throat> I didn't even like when the mom, well, was she his mom? No. When the lady's, like, showing him what happened to him, when he, why he went deaf, and she draws a lightning bolt like, yes. to him on the phone. Yes. I'm like, like are you fucked? Saw that part. Is this a joke? Come around, and it also took forever so to like get to like the point of the movie. Should have been ninety minutes. Yes, this is way too so long. So long, so long, and dull. Aesthetically, um, I, I think worried. the seventies stuff did look really cool. So in the twenties, so like the, like production design was pretty good on it. I will give it that. Um, yeah. I like the score. There's the one score that takes place in the seventies more so. It's like a lot of like guitar and stuff. More funky. I was like, oh okay, yeah, yeah, yeah. This is pretty different. Like the 2001 pretty... music with yeah, like yeah. the funk. Yeah, yeah. Stuff. This is this yeah. is pretty cool. Well, um, I liked with that because it sort of it was in juxtaposition to the sort of 20s score. Yeah, exactly. It was very jumpy and and was yeah. sort of of that era. Yeah. And then it, it would cut to the 70s, and then the 70s has its own soundtrack. Yeah, yeah which, which I liked. Which, again, I, I did like that. Yeah. In, in agreement. Um, but yeah, not good, man. I was struggling to get through this one. I, do. I almost got up and left. I was like... I actually did too. Oh my god. I was like... I almost leaned to Ash. was like, it. we can go if you want. I'll just like Wikipedia what happens. It's, I literally thought about it. I do remember seeing like when the, like when they did like the black and white part. There was like a filter that was on like the, the older part. Where like it looked like... Like it looked like it had been shot in that era, I think. Or it might be my eyes just blazing <laughs> over. I'm not sure. Yeah, eyes I don't trust anything eyes. you said. But yeah. like, it looks like like it looked like there was almost like, like some sort of a filter on it, or like it looked like it was shot with like an older camera to to a point. Yeah. And I remember them like having like like during like the score, there's like certain like sounds like one of the guy would say something, he went like this, and then like the, the score would like yeah. strike. Dang. Oh, yeah, yeah. yeah. I that thought that was really one cool. One. There was uh, one moment where that kind of jumped me a little bit. Boom. Yeah, um, that guy where he did something or he says the, the only non dull. But, yeah. Yeah, you're right. Very I'm typically like, silent film, like you style. knocked it out of the park when you said that. Like, 
when you're watching a five, when you're watching like a heavy four, I'm like, why is this not a five? <laughs> like this isn't a zero or a one, um, but like, there's nothing really. It's nothing going for it. It's nothing standing out in this movie like almost at all. Well, on the on the on the note of ratings, crash. let's let's give our ratings, and we'll get this into a, a little bit of this uh, spoiler discussion. Uh, Tim, what 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 would you rate Wonderstruck? A two, I guess. <laughs> okay. Glowing Ty, rage. I guess you only saw a third of the movie. <laughs> So I'm gonna give it a third part. of a star. I think he's yeah. the best part. Yeah, I'm gonna give it a what the fuck is that? a a one. Sure, yeah. <laughs> right there with Justice League. Yeah, uh, oh. I'm going heavy one. <laughs> like it's gonna be a one and a half on Letterboxd for the set design. Yeah, I'll, I'll go two. I'll go two or five. And nothing else. The positives, like I've said, you know, the silent film stuff and. Why do you guys think that's good reviews? Please answer me. I need to know. No, good to I don't know. Is that, I didn't it, see it. I'm thinking the only logic is that it's like an accurate representation of the book. And like that's, they're like, oh, okay, we read the book and this is what the book well, is. Well, let's get into spoilers. If you haven't seen <laughs> Wonderstruck, um, no one's seen it, so it's <laughs> most of you guys. Uh, um, so fair warning. Get struck. Uh, Tyler. Climax? Yeah. The, the girl in it is the boy's grandmother. Yes. Okay, I saw. Was that the climax? Yes. Yes. Okay, I saw that part. But I the, also saw that part ahead of time. You missed the scene in the library in the bookstore. Though. I remember them seeing like them just like talking to each other, and she like like she was like, explaining something. And I remember like <laughs> you, you were the father. Go right, you doing that scene. The father was somehow like they the, they were teachers or they were the mother and the father were working together somehow <laughs> yeah, yeah, like, yeah. like <laughs> crucial like they were like one was like a librarian or something like that one was, one like, was a librarian in gunflint michigan yes and the dad was the like dad researching was, something was, or oh, he's working at the natural museum the, the natural history and like what's the, the name of the museum, museum of museum, right? museum of museum natural history. history and he was like consulting with her or something and like that. he goes to gunflint something. to do some research and stays yes. at her cabin they bang they have a kid. He, he leaves to go back yeah. to New York for some reason. Yeah. Dies. Okay. And then... Gets heart disease. I guess... Indigenous. See, it's not really explored as to, like... The mom dies, doesn't she? She dies in a car accident. The problem with the film, yeah. though, is that there's no, like, explanation of, like, was the dad a good guy? Or was he a bad guy? So, was like, he coming back? Was it, like... So, if he just, like, left just because, like, he lives in New York, he's like, oh, I'll be back. and just got to deal with some stuff. And then dies. No resolution. There's no resolution. So like, why does the mom like not tell him about the dad? I was like, oh, the dad's gonna be this big mysterious like bad guy. Oh, he's but, a like, god or something. His grandparents or his grandparents, perfectly nice people. Why? How did the boy get to the grandmother? How did those two two stories get together? Complete accidents. Coincidence. The fuck. Wonderstruck. She just happened to be at the bookstore when the kid <clears throat> walked into the bookstore. Yeah. And, and he sleeps there. Yeah. Sleeps there briefly, and then just she's just odd. there talking. The owner of the the bookstore was uh, the brother of the grandmother, right? Really? Yeah. yeah. This movie Tom is Noonan. dumb. So yeah, I'm glad I fell asleep. Yeah, right? I don't know. It's like it's a very direct adaptation because the screenwriter is the writer of the novel it's based on yeah oh. so they obviously okay. kept it pretty close now the, the the writer i'm blanking on his name but he also wrote i don't know if you guys know this you might also wrote uh hugo the book mm. it's making a lot of sense. Very parallel. hugo cabaret yeah. i guess i forget mm -hmm. the original mm -hmm. title of the book. see that's funny because that's a. Uh, I remember you saying that when i woke up that's an example of scorsese actually adding like flair like hugo is one of the best 3d i've ever seen I don't know if anyone saw it. Probably not. I did. Uh, very, like, visually interesting, right? This movie could have used that. Like, it was good visually, but Hugo was is a lot better. I thought it... Well, sure. Hugo isn't dull, is what I'm saying. Like, right. It right. needed some flair, some whimsy. For sure. Some wonder. Mm -hmm. This movie was not struck with wonder. No. I will not say that. No. Dull struck. And then the ending, like, is literally just like, Oh, hey, I'm your grandma. <laughs> that's it. That's literally it. That's it. Oh, this, this movie Danny's ends. my dad. Yeah, yeah. Oh, god, that's terrible. Let's go see a shooting star. Yeah. What do you say? 
How okay. cringe also. Like the shooting star at the end. Are you fucking kidding me? Oh, Todd shooting Haynes. star. Christ. Like, you know what? Now that I'm thinking about it, Carol, I found pretty dull in itself. Like, I liked Carol. It's fine. You didn't think it was dull at all? You didn't think it was like... We're talking about one struck. Not exciting. <laughs> well, it's the same director. I didn't think it was dull. I it was did. definitely a slower film, but I thought the performances lifted it for sure. Didn't see Carol. Looked at dull. It's dull. <laughs> I thought uh, this guy. If you like dull, Todd Haynes is your guy. Mm. Although I'm not there. It looks pretty sweet. I do want to see it. Is there anything sp- more you guys wanted to <laughs> discuss about Wonderstruck? Uh, I was done five minutes. No. Ago. no. <laughs> well that'll do it uh tim where can people find us uh on twitter at up real late and you can find me personally on letterbox at up real tim and on instagram at the craft pundit you can find us on facebook and on instagram at up real late podcast you can also find me <laughs> on letterbox at up real tie it's a great uh, time impression by the way yeah um sorry <laughs> fuck it you can find me <laughs> i said that and i love it on Twitter at Franny25 and Instagram and Letterbox at Upreal Adam. You can find me, Scott, on Letterbox <laughs> at Upreal Scott. And yeah, guys, if you enjoyed this Fuck video, it. leave a like on it. Leave a comment below in the comment section if you want to join our discussion about Wonderstruck, although you probably have nothing to say because you haven't seen it. And uh, as well, uh, don't forget to subscribe to our YouTube channel oh, if you man. like our stuff. Fuck. And as always, keep it real. You've been Wonderstruck. Really?